Um, so what was school like when you were a kid? Well, it wasn't diverse because in Australia in the 60s and 70s, um, I guess you would say it was diverse, we had Italians and Greeks. Oh wow. Because we opened our doors to anybody who wanted to come in the 60s and 70s because we didn't have any population. And in the cities, it was mostly Italians and Greeks. Huh. So I guess you could say it was diverse in that, but it wasn't diverse in different colors. You know, the uh -huh. Aboriginal people weren't in the city very much. Oh no. So school begins with grade one when you're five. There's just a bit much to say was here. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go to kindergarten because I told my mother I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not it's not compulsory. No, no, until grade one. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah, and grade one is is five. Okay. Yeah. And it's much the same as here up until seventh grade. Okay. Um, you have one teacher per grade, and she basically teaches all the subjects. Mm -hmm. We had religion in schools. Really? Yes, every Friday at 10 o'clock. You could either go to sewing class or sit in, in sewing class and whatever the boys did, or you could go to a religious instruction. Huh. And for so, an hour, and uh, for half an hour, an hour, I can't remember, but the uh, different religions would come to the school and you could choose. Most, oh, really? Yeah, most of us went with our friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know, who we want to talk to, right. like you do in elementary schools anyway. Uh -huh. um, and we had music. Oh, wow. And sports. Yeah, I played tennis. Uh -huh. So we had tennis, and then we, oh, we did have school sports, as in that... Um, it was kind of like PE, but it was different in that the whole grades all went out and we played like tunnel ball and all sorts of games. And then we'd have four teams, four houses, in like in Harry Potter, uh -huh. in even in grade school, there's four houses, uh -huh. okay, and they split up and then you'd play against them. Oh, really? Yeah, and that was basically like PE and it was Wednesday what afternoon. about, was there any bullying? I'm sure there was. Mm -hmm. I'm probably the wrong person to ask. Um, that's hard for me to talk about. I didn't have many friends. I, uh, I didn't. Uh, I'm sure there was. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there was. I can't personally say there was, but I'm sure there was. Mm -hmm. And I don't think the kids were any different then than they are now. <laughs> I didn't have any friends because most people didn't want people to mix with me. So why is that? Oh, my father was a terrible person. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Mostly, and it was a suburb, but it was still like a little small town. So everybody knew my dad. So mm. um, mostly they tried to keep their kids away from me, you know. So um, I, I had one or two little girls that I used to play with, but I played single sports and things. Mm. But I'm sure there was bullying. I just, I just didn't see it, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, there was one kid sat next to me. He used to well, bully me. Well, I feel like if that's the case, then you were bullied. Yeah, maybe that's, so. I think you were the <laughs> by their parents. <laughs> There was one kid that used to sit next to me. He's a high school principal now. Oh. And he used to poke me and he said, you were born in my side, Sage. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't like him. No, so I mean, no, I guess it was bullying. Because I, yeah. I remember kids picking on us from certain kids mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, so I think kids were the same yeah. then, then as they are now. Yeah. I think, though, that we were basically expected to deal with it ourselves. Oh, really? You know, Nobody no, did anything or said anything? Anybody, yeah, no. What do you think, like... If kids were being bullied, what do you think they were being bullied for? Could it be like you, like parents, or? Yeah, it could have been obnoxious natures mm. and stuff like that. Uh -huh. You know, just some kids were obnoxious. Uh -huh. you know. um, a lot of people stayed in their own, like the Italians stayed in one, like Italians stayed in their little set. Mm. Now I remember that, there was a lot of that because there was a girl up the road, she was probably maybe eight or nine years older than me, maybe even 10 years older than me now she had a boyfriend that was Italian and I mean I thought the whole world was going to come unglued everybody was talking about really? it so you know yes there so was a lot of that didn't it was, no races Italians didn't like us you know we weren't good enough and mm. and Greeks didn't like Italians and, and Australians didn't like any of them <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay um, in Australia you speak English okay when you first came to the country if you didn't speak English you spent three months in a uh, not a compound, but it was a place where they went and lived before they could come into the country. Oh, with, wow. Where and one of the things they had to do was learn English. Really? You know, yeah. My wow. dad used to carry all their, their luggage to the to the 
they were like cornset huts, uh -huh. you know, and the whole family, when they got off the boat, or the pl pl boats mostly, they went lived in these huts and they had to learn how to speak English if they didn't. There was no consideration. Yeah. If you didn't speak English, if you walked into a store and didn't speak English, they just didn't talk to you. Really? Too bad, so sad. <laughs> no, I think, I think it wasn't. I don't remember much of it, but I'm sure that it occurred probably a little bit racial and probably a little bit everything else, mm -hmm. you know. You're too fat, you're too thin. Mm. I remember one boy used to pick his nose in class. <laughs> they used to give him hell. Oh. So mm -hmm. We changed currencies when I moved to high school. We used to have pound, shillings and pence, mm -hmm. and we went to dollars and cents. Mm. And then we used to have feet and inches, and we went to centimeters oh. and Celsius. So there was a nationwide learn how, learn how to do this, you know. There was a song, Click Go the Shears Boys, and it was about click, click dollars and cents. <laughs> you know, and then uh, a meter is but three foot three. You know, we had little, oh. we were all learning this, you know, even our parents and everybody was wow. trying to learn because we converted the whole country. Wow. So that was kind of, I guess, a historical event. I bet, yeah, our, that's super country. hard. Yeah, but most, a lot of the historical events were things happening over here. Mm. You know. And did that impact you there at all? No. Not a lot. No. Okay. What does multicultural mean to you? America. Yeah. M bunches of people. Yeah. You know, all, all different nations, you know, like, that's the one thing that really, I have a lot of respect for it. Mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. Like, it seems like it's crawled away. But, uh -huh. Right. But, you know, it's amazing how many people can be in a class. Like, mm -hmm. when I went to school, it was white people. Mm -hmm. That was all there was, you right. know. Um, but when I went back to home in 2006, there were many, many Asians mm. and many Mexicans and many of other countries. Really? So I imagine Australia is much more multicultural now than it ever was when I was growing up. Oh, okay. You know, when I was growing up, it was white people. Wow. Um, there was one Aboriginal boy in my class. And, you know, yes, he was to somewhat extent excluded from things. Really? You know, yeah. Um, and so, so I didn't even know the word multicultural really till I came over here. Really? I didn't know what it meant. First time I had ever seen an Amer African American, I got off a plane in Roanoke, a, a private jet in mm -hmm. Roanoke, Roanoke, Virginia, and the chauffeur that picked us up was this huge African American, kind of like a Charles Barkley type of oh, build, wow. you know, and he was very dark, and I was like, Oh my gosh, and I was like in my 20s then, right. and that was really the first experience really? I had with multicultural, you know, so yeah. I bet it was a culture shock for you. It was a bit. <laughs> to come here bit. and see yeah. all these different kinds yes. of people and yeah. different languages and yeah. things. Yeah, but now I like it, you know, yeah. it, it took me a little while to get used to it. But, but what does diversity mean to you? Well, I guess that, again, I learned that over here. Uh -huh. that diversity is, you know, including everybody, uh -huh. you know. I really didn't have any growing up experience of that, mm -hmm. you know, very English, very white, mm -hmm. all my friends were white, mm -hmm. you know, um, I didn't see any examples of diversity because oh. they just weren't there, mm -hmm. you know, it was just a very English, you know, and I grew up in an English home, I mean, my mother was a very this is English you lady, before, you know, right? so, very proper, very, very proper, <laughs> if you don't speak correctly, you know, and, um, table manners and stuff like that but diversity i didn't really see till i came over here either mm -hmm. you know oh. i didn't see any diversity no i didn't see any chinese people in those days really? i didn't see hardly any i might have seen some italian descent people some greek descent people but i didn't see diversity i saw white people and english people and irish people mm. and you know <clears throat> and the ceo of burlington industry said to me so you're their token woman and i said Pad well, you know, we all have to hire a minority. I said, I'm not a minority. I'm your 13th highest salesman. Thank you very much. That was the first time I'd ever heard of that. You know, I was what? kind of shocked. I'm like, what are you talking about? You know, really? Well, you know, I hadn't even. But that was an American. Was an American that like an American thing? Yes, yes. Because so in Australia, it wasn't. Never heard of a really? minority. <laughs> really? <laughs>